Is there a limit to the amount of punishment that can be justly inflicted on a person? It's a question that has been debated for centuries, and one that continues to spark controversy and discussion today. On the one hand, there are those who argue that there should be no limit to the amount of punishment that can be inflicted on someone who has committed a heinous crime. They believe that the severity of the punishment should match the severity of the crime, and that only by inflicting maximum punishment can justice be served. On the other hand, there are those who argue that there must be a limit to the amount of punishment that can be justly inflicted on a person. They believe that there is a point at which punishment becomes excessive and cruel, and that such punishment does not serve justice, but rather undermines it. One of the key arguments in favor of unlimited punishment is that it serves as a deterrent. If criminals know that they will face severe punishment, they may be less likely to commit crimes in the first place. However, Critics of this approach argue that research has shown that the severity of punishment is not always a reliable deterrent, and that other factors such as social and economic conditions may play a more significant role in determining criminal behavior. Another argument in favor of unlimited punishment is that it provides closure and a sense of justice for the victims of the crime and their families. However, opponents of this approach argue that excessive punishment can actually increase the suffering of the victim's family and loved ones, and that justice can be achieved through means other than punishment, such as restitution and rehabilitation. So where does the truth lie? Is there a limit to the amount of punishment that can be justly inflicted on a person? The answer, as with many complex questions, is not a simple one. Ultimately, the answer depends on a variety of factors, including the nature of the crime, the circumstances surrounding it, and the individual who committed it. However, what is clear is that the question of punishment and justice is one that will continue to be debated and discussed for years to come. As we strive to create a more just and equitable society, it is important to consider all viewpoints and approaches, and to work together to find solutions that uphold the principles of justice and fairness for all.